Hey guys, welcome back to Mother Tucker's YouTube channel. I'm Tina. You know this guy. I think I'm Jason. Yeah, you are. Yeah. All right, guys, we made it. Look where we're at. We're heart at the Ohio. heart of Ohio. We are so excited. This place is absolutely ginormous. Super you can bowl. see it there. Super Bowl. We are so excited to go inside and see what we can find. So let's go, guys. All right, guys, this is going to be system overload. If you can all see, this is crazy big. Oh, there's Sarah and David. Oh my goodness. This is huge. And I see some folks up here that y'all might know. So let's see. If we can say hi to the gang up here. Hello. How is every, the cat did drag me in. I will say that for sure, sister. I will. Did, they, got they got, oh my gosh, they have a whole wagon full. Oh, I'm so excited to go shopping. I don't know which way to go. All right, guys, there are three separate wings here, and on the advice of none other than Ariana of the Withering Cottage, I'm going down this route because she said this was her favorite. Aisle, row, wing, row number one. All right, guys, so we're going to see what we can find, so let's get to it. Well, isn't she interesting? She is actually a flower frog. Wow, I'm covering her bits, but I think she's amazing. What a beautiful piece. I don't know. Oh, she is marked on the bottom. Not quite, I can't quite read that. Germany, I think. Wow, she's, oh, her neck's been repaired. Do y'all see that? Or she has a really bad line in her neck. But she's really different. I've never seen a, a ceramic f flower frog quite that large before. So that's really cool to see in person. I also see up here, it's going to be a Westmoreland lampshade. Hmm. Interesting. 19, what's that, 78, I think. Hand painted. This place is just amazing. It's so big. Um, yeah, it's a lot to take in right now. So, but it's really cool to see all of it. We've been working our way down these showcases here. Um, it's really cool to see all this stuff. There's a lot of things here I've never seen before, right? And that's always fun. All right, guys, so we're going to, oh, look at the little, look at the little, little cutie guy. Oh, he's cute. He's only $5. Oh, I might have to consider that. That's adorable. Maybe he's related to BK. I'll have to ask Sarah. We have a little Fenton mouse there. Oh, this is so pretty. Look at that. It says, I laugh. I don't, that's really a neat piece there. All right, guys, I came around the corner and this booth is screaming mid-century, right? This is just, wow. Okay, I don't, I don't know if I even know quite where to start. So let's just start with that, with it, with the fireplace. That thing's amazing. I love it. Oh my goodness. It is beautiful. You do not see these in person very often. It is $1,700. Oh, but look, how nice is that? It actually says make an offer. I appreciate that. I don't know that I'm going to make an offer, but I appreciate that they made told me to possibly make an offer. They have some really amazing crane artwork that's a very mid-century i know jason spotted that lava lamp right there 
Oh, how much was the lava lamp? $195. $195. That is full on retail. Um, but it's lovely to see. Wow, like this thing is so cool. I think it's a liquor bottle, but it's supposed to look like a bowl. Yeah. Um, wow, you guys, this is. There's definitely a whole lot to see here. A whole lot to see here. Look at this piece next to the the lava lamp. That's beautiful. That's like an art deco. Um, it says hand painted boudoir lamp. I think it would have been a dresser lamp. Very nice. That was $99. So we're going to keep moving and keep looking. I love that mid-century table. Oh, wow. That's beautiful. I think that is for sale. It is $229. That's actually not bad for the size of mid-century table that it is. Um, yeah. There's a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh really cool this is a great display so kudos to whoever has this booth you did a great job all right guys we have shell lamp chandeliers i think they're chandeliers and so typically you see them in the light which is what what's back there i love the groovy chairs by the way but look at this one is that not insane I don't know if I've ever seen a colored shell one. Like that is crazy. Crazy cool that is. I, yeah. Wow. That is a whole, that's a whole look. That's a whole vibe. I think I'm okay with it. They have some really cute stuff in here. What is this guy? Oh my goodness. Mother Goose. I thought she was a witch. Cause I saw the right the broom and the hat. I didn't realize we were on a goose. <laughs> Mother Goose. Okay, well, thank you, Mother Goose. She's 20. We've got a Disney. Oh, the little elf guys here. What else do we have down in here? Um, she's kind of cute, the little baker girl, right? I don't know. I mean cute oh that's really neat look at that i can't quite get to it because right see yeah but that bag thing is really neat it looks like they decoupaged on it um yeah i like the vibe of that for sure what did jason find back here hey probably california pottery that looks familiar <laughs> did we have or have or still have um I know we've had that one. 28 is I, not bad. No, this. that's really not. I think we still have it. I don't know. I can't remember right now. <laughs> Actually, I can never remember. Oh, she's really cute. She's broke. <gasps> oh, how's she broken? Oh, she fell and broke her dress. Dang, she's cute. She's a left, and you don't normally see these ones for June. She's adorable. I mean, you could still display her, um, because it is at like you would turn her probably this way anyway, but that's a significant break, so we're going to have to leave her here, unfortunately. Oh, I love this, like just the color and design. I don't think 48 is too bad. That's a, an old metal cake tin. Um, but the, the color is great on that. Very, very vibrant. Um, yeah, there's some nice pieces in this case. Or in this booth, rather. That's some different things in here, right? I Oh my goodness, you guys. Look at that. Look at the eyeglasses with the eyes. <laughs> okay, that's crazy. Look at the well, way he's Jason, that one. Jason is that's corn. That's that is not corn. He's happy. Oh my! So I think what, we're gonna get them. What are these guys? We got like little pixie guys. 
And they're the sports guys, I've right? I've seen them. So this, these, this is. Look how pointy his ear is, and that's he, not broke yeah. either. No, let me see. So there's two in black, and this one is baseball. Oh, hold on, I gotta. Oh wow! And then, so, so, so okay, there's two baseball. Here. So the two baseball go together, and Wait, the that? two football go together. Oh, it took us a minute, guys, but we're figuring it out. Yeah, let's get. Let's them. see that. Oh, they're really cute. And it's 35 for all four. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. I think I like those. Yeah, I do too. All right, guys. I think we found something. Thing. A first thing at the heart of Ohio. All right. I think I'm excited. Oh, my goodness, you guys. That is not something you see every day in the wild. We have the Viking Glass Owl Fairy Lamp. Um, that should be the red one, $129.95, plus 10% off at registers. Actually, not a bad price on that at all. Um, I cannot remember the last time I saw one of the Owl Fairy Lamps out in the wild. So that is super cool to see. There's some really nice glass in here. Um, I like that mm. ceramic swan back there. Isn't that shape just beautiful and we have some more cranberry and red down here some rose bowls mary gregory oh no is that huh i don't know but that's a really really fancy and well painted um oh my gosh <gasps> he's so cute he's a salt and pepper shaker puppy in a basket i'm not sure who made him um but i may need to take a peek at him so babe did you see isn't he cute we have some other stuff here and we definitely down here have the ketchup jar with the little girl. She is adorable. I love, I love that. This case is also gorgeous. Look at the small e-perm. Oh my goodness, that's amazing. Look at that back there, guys. Oh, that beadwork is a purse. Isn't that crazy? And what are those there? Pink bird shakers? They are, they are really cute. I love those. And look at the birds, or birds, the deer here. They are so nice. They are beautiful. Oh, I love the little Christmas bells. Look at the Fenton painted deer. Oh my goodness. There are some treasures in this case. Little duck, glass duck. Oh, look at the basket purse. That's beautiful in great condition at $29.95. That's not bad at all. And guys, we have some squeaks down here. How cute are they? And I almost missed it. Oh my goodness, it is a rushed in skunk. Did you guys see that? That's amazing. Amazing. How cute is she? Oh, she's so sweet. There's some really adorable things in this case. This fascinated me too. Look at the little, look at the little doll in the watch case. Like, what is that? I don't know. I just liked it. There's a whole other booth over here. We have some case of purses, a bunch of hankies up here. Oh my goodness gracious. I think I'm going to get in here and take a look, see, and see if we can find something fun and cool. Oh, let's just walk back here, guys. Let's just do it. Yeah, let's do it. Oh, how sweet. The little duck. Oh, and look at the Bavaria. Germany. Wow. So pretty. Okay, well, this looks like an interesting booth, guys. So, I'm going in. Um, 
Oh my word. Look at all of the cute chef shakers up here. Oh my gosh. They're cute. They're super cute. Let's take a look at them. Oh my gosh. $12.95. That's a decent price for a collector. I don't know that Jason and I really need any more shakers. Um, what in tarnation? Oh my gosh. <coughs> that is one heck of a fish plate, right? Wow. And it's Lofton? Focus. Focus. Thank you. It's Lofton. I would not have thought that to be Lofton, guys. Mm -mm. Wouldn't have thought it. Um, but that's kind of neat. Oh my goodness, look at this. Is this okay? I have no idea what this is because the tag's gone. But look at the fruit face. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's a little jam jar. It is $23.95. That's kind of cute. I think the crazing on it, I'm not mad about. But I think it would deter me from from getting it. Um, wow, there's a lot of stuff in here that's really cute. So I saw some things in this case. They have a September angel. There's a napkin girl back there. Oh, I like the little angels. Look at um, corn just because it's corn but we also have the big cheese um oh yeah that looks like you're not gonna be able to see it behind the corn but there's the blue hat that's a, another jar there's another jam jar that should be deforced i think if i'm wrong you can let me know in the comments um wow just look at all of this stuff right the allspice with the roosters back there. The memo guy that's plastic. They have a great variety of stuff here. Oh my goodness. I love this piece. Look at the seashells and the lucite. $18.95. That's a great piece. That's a great piece. Oh my gosh. Look at the bride and groom. Are they? Yep. They're double sided. Love. And marriage. <laughs> That's what happens when you have the kids. Oh my gosh. That's too cute. I like that. Let me do some other kitchenware over here. Um, yeah, just some really cool pieces. I like this yellow recipe box back there. It's in excellent condition. Um, and then on my way out of the booth look at that stupendous light um wow kind of like saucers with gold that's really neat to see um they do have some more fruit here we have some faces just a great great variety this booth definitely caught my attention on the way into this section i have no idea what wing i'm in this place is ginormous but little kitchen for you guys all right guys at this point i'm going to switch to voiceover since the music was very loud in spots while we were shopping but isn't this turtle so cute his eyes are what really caught me and i just thought he was adorable he was just staring at me um there were so many littles in this case i love the little angel angel lipstick holder back there uh, so many things to see the little cow and the hot plate that was actually a set of salt and peppers with the hot plate that was a very unique piece i had not seen that before um it was behind glass so i'm not 100 percent on the maker but it was really a cute set i really liked that they had some beautiful pictures hanging on the wall in this booth um lots just so much fun stuff to see while we were here at the heart of Ohio. It was really honestly overwhelming. It was a long day. So um, also during my video, you can definitely tell I was tired. It was, it was a lot that day. Definitely system overload for sure. 
but in the best of ways possible, honestly. I love looking at all the little ceramics and little tchotchkes. This little uh, house, it was cute. I can't read how much it was on there. And then do you see it, guys? Do you see it? Oh, yeah. I know you spotted it, too. It's a Devar Angel liquor bottle. We just sold one recently like this, and I love finding stuff like this in the wild. It's so great to see that it's still out there, and you can still find it at local antique stores. I mean, even though we were in Ohio and not where we live, but you know what I mean. These pieces are still out there for everyone to find. I love seeing this stuff in person. And who can resist that face? He's so cute. I mean, he's had a few too many, but that's what makes him cute, right? I can't even handle it. Since we did just sell him, I did decide to leave him behind. However, going down the hall with these showcases, look at all this Bakelite. It has been a long time since I have seen this amount of Bakelite in one spot. I, I was absolutely amazed at everything I was seeing. I love these brooches and pins. They are so incredibly detailed in person. So neat to see um, up close and personal again. It's been a really long time since I've seen this amount of big light jewelry in real life and it was awesome to, to see it. Cute head vases on a couple shelves down. I mean, you just can't go wrong with this stuff, guys, right? Then I found Christmas. You know I made a beeline when I spotted this huge booth st stocked full of Christmas stuff. I mean, who can resist, right? Um, The person did a great job. Just there was something in every nook and cranny. You just wanted to just get right in there. Check it out. This cute stuffed Santa caught my attention. I thought he was darling. His face was just too cute with his pom-pom nose. Oh my goodness. I wanted to see what else I could find. So I was trying to work my way towards the back of the booth because I did spot some things when I was first walking in. But of course, you know, you have to like chop your way into the booth. And let's face facts, I'm easily distracted by shiny things. So I was definitely <laughs> trying to focus. Um, of course, the aluminum Christmas tree who you just can't go wrong with an aluminum Christmas tree. But here we go. I really wanted to get into this case here. Um, there's some Santas in there. Look at this guy. He is just adorable with that face. Uh, the cabinet was actually open, so I was able to pop the door open, which sounded atrocious, but really was not bad at all, <laughs> and take a look at him. Oh, his face is so cute. He I'm pretty sure, yes, he's a Ralpo, and I want to say he was $30. So a good price for a collector for sure, but not quite where I needed him to be. Uh, he does have some paint loss on his hat with his cold paint. Honestly, overall, his cold paint really was not bad considering most of the time when there's that much red on them. Uh, yeah, it's just not a good, <laughs> it's not, it's not pretty when it comes to the, to the cold paint. So just checking out the rest of the case and all the fun goodies that were in here. There's some snowmen, um, some glasses. Working over this way, I was trying to move slowly because the the booth was a little tight. And when you're filming, it's hard to look behind you. You know what I mean? <laughs> anyway, that jar was super cute with Santa stuffed in there. A nice little decor piece uh, to put out at Christmas. Oh my gosh, crazy. That's Mr. and Mrs. Claus the day after Christmas. Poor Mrs. Claus looks way more frazzled than Santa. You know what I mean, guys? Ooh. Yeah, she was like, I need to sleep till February. <laughs> I love seeing the ceramic trees. And I love, I'm a sucker for the ceramic pieces. So I love this candle holder. Uh, it does have a chip on the rim. But just 
I love the face. It's always the faces that do me in, honestly. So, and what's this guy sitting back here? He's like a little creeper. What? So he's a styrofoam head and body made with felt and sequins. I don't know exactly what he's supposed to be. I'm thinking an ornament. I don't know. He, he was a mystery to me, but I thought he was cute enough to try to figure out. <laughs> so... Yeah, I still don't know what he is. <laughs> then the next booth over, I found some more Christmas. I really love this lantern piece. Um, I, I, I honestly can't tell you why. <laughs> I just like the look of it. Um, I could not find a price on it, though, so I was a little bit disappointed in that. Most of the other boxes were all priced, but they were all ornaments. And I like the decorative piece of the candle with the greenery in front of it and the gold accents. So I was really struggling to find a price and I, I failed. I failed. <laughs> but that's all right. That happens. If there's something not priced in an antique store, don't you guys worry. Tina will find it. I was searching through all the beads to see if anything caught my attention and just making sure that everything else on the shelf was ornaments. Um, and it all was. So, and then in this case, oh my gosh, do you see Santa? Now, this used to be uh, Belova, I think I'm saying that right, and I'm probably not, was a watch manufacturer company. Um, I'm going to say probably in the 40s, it, I know it was around in the 1940s and 50s. This was a display for them. Um, he was missing some of the pom-pom on his hat. So I wasn't sure that I really uh, wanted to pick him up for myself because that would have been for me. But I just thought he was darling and needed to catch him on camera. Moving down the aisle, this girl really caught my attention. How sweet is her face? It's a cute little pose doll and pink mini skirt. She was just adorable. Uh, there was lots of great toys and you can see all the colorful tins. This girl back here caught my attention. She looks like a troublemaker, I think. Just my personal opinion. <laughs> and this cute doll in her box. There was just a ton of fun stuff to see. And as you can tell, this booth is jam packed. I'm here for it, for sure. Um, just look at the old rubber-faced bunny. Um, how cute is he? Like, he kind of looks like Bugs Bunny, but just enough that he doesn't really, if you know what I mean, right? Um, there was just so much to take in. Yeah, I can't even begin to tell you guys. This guy I snagged him right away I was like he's so cute look at the colors on this pixie of course he's made by Shawnee $24 not the best price point we for me so Halloween unfortunately here. I did leave him behind look at this shelf of Halloween kind of and then there's right? just a random chalkware head her. sitting here oh yeah I'm here wow. for it this sassy girl She's was adorable. I've now, I'm not sure that she was just supposed to be a head. She, um, I've only ever seen these attached to something, and the sticker was covering anything where she might have been attached. But I thought she was cute. Okay, guys, do you see I also the spotted angels? this display like, of vintage this one is ceramic super angels. Unique. And this I've never girl seen one really of these caught my attention. Life. She this is, is a Scorpio, Scorpio one. and I don't know um, that I've ever no in idea person when that seen would be, the actual wow. um, astrology so angels. Cool. So normally she is a Napco Napco? does. Oh, you know, normally well, Napco, if Tina would have read all the of the birthday guys, month angels, Scorpio is October you know, April, 24th, May, June, July. To November 22nd. This was actually um, the she's in Scorpio for, condition. That's why the dates on the bottom ever, said ever with the Scorpio birthday. I've seen a Scorpio one. This was amazing to see. $63. I but Can't that's remember, really cool like to see in dollars, the wild. So definitely above my price point. And Jason, I'm oh, not wow, Scorpios, okay. but Betty awesome to catch on film and see in real life. So cool. Next up, we um, have Betty Lou Nichols pottery, pottery, which is a California sure. pottery. Um, I think this stuff is always just so amazing. Here, right? I love the colors. Um, I love the eyelashes on this nun here. Um, oh, these pieces wow, are just just amazing and really cool to oh see goodness. several of them so together cool to in see. one spot 
Wait, Normally you just see one or two. Then I spotted the um, angel those candle huggers. Are just, I thought for sure these huh, were either Mapco or Lepton. However, I they were only marked Japan and there was no official maker's mark on them. The um, at Lepton, $37 they are not. Each, I believe, uh, that I did decide to leave price. those behind. And look at this. Then stuff down, down here, here, check oh this my out, you guys. This is stuff amazing. is amazing. So this is, this gonna is the, be, Sasha, um, the Sasha. I know it's Sasha B, and I believe oh. it's like. Barsh Cop. I'm going to totally butcher her last Tina's name. Brain is but not I today. love That's this pottery. Foot with a hand. The, the foot of the ballerina so cool. and the fingers. <gasps> and look at and this. And then look, the dealer was this kind enough to point definitely out has the damage on the mug. Where there's damage. But I the love graphic that. painting um, and artistry so on these pieces are just stunning and some of my favorite. So mod, mid-century, 1960s. It's just absolutely beautiful oh and I love so wonderful to that. see such, such unique Just subject great. matter in Kate person Finch as well over here. and we have some Kate oh Finch word. birdies over and look here at the Enamel and wear. then I spotted all the here. enamel wear. Look at all the enamel Again, wear there. I, I don't know that oh, I can explain it, but I'm a sucker for some, some enamel wear. Um, just the, the paint on it, I love the look of it. Um, then we had some like old milk boat. glass That's here, unusual, especially that boat. You see That's a very unique piece that you don't time. often see and look in at person this. or real some life. Tiffin. They had some other, wow. uh, some Tiffin glass. Oh, and, and look at the white and black vases together. I believe like, they were both just bud vases and the orange as a candlestick holder. So but the colors really popped on here, those. Very... Next up, we have, oh yeah, some Winking Kitty shakers. This whole case, I literally drooled over. Look at the bunnies next to the kitties. How cute are they? They're like little kids in their costume bunny outfits. Oh my goodness. Who can resist that? Jason's telling me that I'm out of my mind for thinking that they're a good buy because they were $75. Um, so yeah, we did leave those behind, unfortunately. And look at the girl flower frog in the back, the Halloween. Uh, there's so many things to see in this case. They had a great look at the Noel Angel Christmas girls. Those are going to be candlestick holders with Pyrex in the back. There was Jada in on the bottom. I, I like look pink Pyrex. I literally didn't know which direction to shoot the camera in. At this point, I was just going like, oh my gosh, look at this, look at this. Um, I was confused as to whether all those pieces were $95, but no, they were actually $95 for each piece of pink Pyrex. Um, we did have some Christmas girls, well, I guess a Christmas girl and a Christmas boy, and the little um, pixie Christmas boy girl, Christmas pixie, <laughs> right there. Super cute. Um figurines and then coming down here is spotted the little elf guy the little pixie elf he was so cute then as i was trying to leave the showcase i spotted the red striped tumblers those i have not seen in a very long time moving to the next case i spotted some christmas and then <gasps> Oh my goodness, you guys. It's a mermaid. Holy guacamole. I don't even know what to say. I was so excited that I saw this girl in real life. I actually got down on the floor to get a better look at her. Um, as many of you know, I do collect mermaids. I do not have this girl, and she was a very large piece. She is actually on what I'm pretty sure is a large vintage um, shell, like kind of a clamshell dish that you can see there. But I think somebody adhered her to the dish and then added some of the seaweed and shells that you see decorating the sides of the dish and the inside of the dish. Um, I don't think those, I, I think the dish itself is old. I'm not a hundred percent, but she was amazing to see in real life. She was $180. And yes, I did seriously consider her, but 
I left her behind. And this prisoner of love, yeah, his face just says it all, you guys, because that's how I was feeling. I just didn't know if I wanted to spend that much um, on her or really for a piece for myself on our trip. So thus is always the struggle when it comes to hunting vintage, I guess, right? But this case had so many cool things to see. Up here, we had a Viking green bird. Just beautiful. Look at all the glass back there, you guys. Blues and yellows. There was so much to see. Um, that little, oh, she's a little June girl with her flowers. I believe she's actually a small toothpick holder. And these, you guys, these are lucite candles. Can you even? They were kind of like a peach color and actually matched the grape lucite holders that they were sitting in. They were stunning. Just stunning to see in person. They had fairy lamps in here. I mean, it just, every at every turn, my jaw was on the floor in this place, to be honest. There was so much to look at and so much to take in. Then in this showcase, look at her. Isn't she adorable with her little basket and her fluffy dress? She was $69, but she was too cute to not show on camera. This showcase also caught my attention because there was just so many cool things in it, right? Look at these lucite flowers. That really caught my eye. And look at the little bee sitting in it. He was made of chenille and so adorable. Then as I looked over, I spotted it. Look at this adorable little blue bird. Oh my goodness, you sweet thing. Yeah, he was $79. So he's still there, guys. No need to worry about that. Unfortunately, a lot of these prices um, were close to or right at retail. But honestly, it was such a great trip to see this stuff in person. And wowzer, do you see that thing in front of me? <gasps> this stretch vase was amazing. Uh, we don't really collect glass like that, but I love that piece. And, and look down here at all this adorable littles. Oh my goodness, do you see the mermaid candlestick holders? I have, I think they're violin anthropomorphic salt and pepper shakers. Um, I, I, yeah, there's kid heads, there's mushrooms, there's all kinds of cool, adorable salt and peppers going on in here. Look at the puppies. I, I yeah. I was, it was just amazing. Oh my gosh. And then of course the, I'm pretty sure they're left in rhinestone eyed bird salt and pepper shakers were just beautiful. Um, yeah, everything in this case, like, oh my goodness, you guys, if I win the lottery, I'm going shopping at the heart of Ohio for sure. Well, let me tell you, look at the Christmas on the bottom. Oh my gosh, the little December boys standing there. We have Santa, we have an angel. Um, so many cute things to see. Now, this showcase by far was probably my most favorite, and I think my head almost exploded. Holy Holt Howard, you guys. Yeah, that's what you're seeing right here. Um, some of these pieces are super hard to find, very rare, and literally they are probably still trying to clean my drool up off the, the glass of this showcase. I'm not even going to lie about it. The chili and honey sauce in back were missing their pixie heads. The little bee in front, and I, it's saccharin or something. I always say it wrong, so sorry, guys. He is super rare. Of course, you have your fork and spoon, salt and peppers, but then look at the cute little typewriter shaker. Oh, she was all by herself, but she's so cute. Then in the back, we have the ketchup, um, hot sauce, and mustard condiment um, holders. 
which I'm pretty sure those are Holt Howard. We have some more anthropomorphic salt and pepper shakers. Check out these girls. Don't they look like a hoot to hang out with? I'm just saying. But these were both two lighters. These sassy ladies look like they were ready for a night on the town for sure. Then we had all this black cat on the shelf. Some of these pieces I have never seen. That is actually a memo holder um, or a pot holder. I I'm not sure if it was used as both, but that I've never seen. Look at the cat with the actual um, fishbowl with the fluid and the fish in it. These pieces were so cool and great to see in person. Um, in all the years that Jason and I've been doing this, a lot of this stuff it was the first time for me seeing this actually in real life and not in a book, which was really awesome to experience for sure. Then as I looked down, I spotted this. This is actually a Higgins glass ashtray. The camera's not doing it justice, you guys. It was stunning in person and really great to see. Then as I was trying to walk away, look at this. That is a red wing gesture plate. Amazing. All right, guys, thanks so much for joining us here at the heart of Ohio. Truth be told, um, I think I got through like maybe 80% of it or so. The place is ginormous. Um, there was so much stuff to see. It was really great though. They had a lot of things that typically we don't see in um, antique stores. So that was really cool. Uh, definitely a fun place to go, but I'm gonna tell you, you could spend all day there for real. So we um, found a couple small things, not a whole lot. And honestly, we're both exhausted. <laughs> it's been a really long day, but it's been a fun day and a really good day. Um, Heart of Ohio, for sure. If you're in the area, check it out, but give yourself a lot of time to get through it. So thanks so much for joining us on this video. Um, Jason's driving, but he says thanks trust me and um we really appreciate you watching and joining um us here on the video don't forget to go ahead and like comment and please subscribe to our channel it is free and you can follow along in all of our vintage adventures thanks so much for watching guys have a great night